Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the Tor browser inside Kali Linux. We're going to be using the instructions right out of the official documentation from Kali.org. I'll link that in the description below. There's just a few commands that we're going to have to run here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our terminal window right over here. And the first thing that we're going to do is just do an update. So sudo space app space update and then hit enter it's going to ask you for the password if you're using the pa default password it's going to be Kali and it's going to go ahead and do that okay so that is done and now we're going to go ahead and install the browser so we're going to type in sudo app install space dash y then tor browser dash launch okay and these commands will be listed in the description below go ahead and hit enter Okay, and now we're ready to run it. So we're gonna type in Tor browser dash launcher and hit enter. And for the first time it does this, it's gonna to wanna to download all the files, including the signature verification file. So that will happen just the first time. And after that, it won't do it anymore. And that's it, we have Tor browser installed and up and running on Kali Linux. So we have the Tor browser over here opened and uh, you can have it always connect automatically by checking this option and then you can go ahead and connect. And it's going to establish a connection. It just takes a minute. This progress bar will go across the top. Okay, so it did not connect on my first attempt. Uh, we can try a bridge. Uh, we have the option to select different regions in here. I'm just going to try to bridge through the United States. So I'll click on that and we'll see what happens here. Great, there we go. So we're connected with it. You can start using uh, DuckDuckGo and go to specific sites that you're probably already looking for, but that's how you're up and running. If you take a look at this, I'm actually running Kali Linux inside a virtual machine in Windows 10. Uh, that allows me to spin up a new session of Kali Linux if I run into issues while experimenting. Uh, I definitely suggest that. So if you're interested in that, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. If you have any other questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.